You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rods just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Akche. And we part as friends. There he is. Of all Mehmed's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. The higher the same day to have the latest trust of the rebuilding. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. You may verify the amount, Tarek. But the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the Seydet's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust, without cynicism, is hollow. The Count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala! I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. In short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, Perhaps that will help our cause. Conducting incursions into areas suspected of harboring... Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. What agenda? No? It is not pretty, I know. But it will work. Sultan, away! Why not? My God. Janissaries are corrupted, good people of Constantinia. They have surrendered their loyalties to the devil. To injury to our Sultan's image. completed in... Good citizens of Istanbul, 
The Janissary is polluted against you! Do not suffer their injuries! Return them! That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm. Falling into place. When the Palaio Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Merda. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio! Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser. Manuel Paleo Logos. Paleo Logos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleo Logos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. 
Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy. Kardesh Larivna, one of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumps like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Tarek, a message for you. <laughs> the rifles have arrived in Cappadoce, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendum. Evet. For once. of Suleiman's investigation. You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadoce. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah Ashkila. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. Hey, man. 
while the horse is behind you. Master! Don't lose him! Tarek was no traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I am sorry. God forgive me. You should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Oh, Tarek... You should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He's been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Genesaris will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. When word gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello. My nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, o mio principe. We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did. Iperoha. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not? We get more. Yeah. The assassin! Go! Go! He's there! Ville! Evoine! Oh, no. He is here somewhere. Assassin!
behind us! Reach the two! Davy! Show yourself! We have gunpowder! We should use it! Stand back! Give me some room! He's behind us! Never underestimate this madman! Now, body! The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my God. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? 
Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself. Not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Ah! El Tayer! El Tayer! No! I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Boss, you killed my brother. I will have the apple, Altair. And I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family. You cannot run forever. Not from us. And not from your lies. Maria. My love. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos. Nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To 
hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. In this episode, Ezio begins his investigation into Tarek. He locates him in the bazaar and follows him to a meeting where he speaks with a Templar named Manuel. He is selling a shipment of weapons that are meant for a takeover of Constantinople. Ezio starts a riot so he can get into the harbor and get a closer look at the shipment of weapons. While snooping, he gets caught, and in an epic 1 v10 battle, he shows his true assassin skill as he cuts down his enemy in order to escape. Ezio takes this information back to Suleiman and is ordered to kill Tarek for his treachery. To get close to Tarek, Ezio infiltrates a Janissary camp by dressing like one of them. He gets in position and assassinate Tarek only to find out that he was playing a double agent and was planning to set an ambush for Manuel and the Templars. Ezio goes back to Suleiman to inform him that Tarek was no traitor and that the weapons are being kept in Cappadocia. Suleiman is saddened by the news and feels the weight of Tarek's death. He gives Ezio the go-ahead to board a ship and travel to Cappadocia to destroy the weapons. In the meantime, while Ezio waits for his ship to set sail, he goes after another ancient key. He finds a garrison of Templar soldiers that are using a boat to make their way to a new doorway that was uncovered by an earthquake. He follows them to the door, takes them out, and retrieves the key. The memory within the key shows when Altier and his wife Maria learn about their youngest son's death. They go to Abus to inquire what happened and learn of the orders that got him killed. In a rage, Altier tries to use the apple against them, but Maria stops him and ends up getting killed. They try to take the apple from him as he and his eldest son escape Masyaf. Tune into the next episode of Assassin's Creed to find out what happens next. Editing video games into a TV series format is a lot harder than it seems. Finding the perfect start and end of each episode, and then playing the game in a way that matches the narrative of the story without the HUD. Then trying to edit around the in-game pop-ups as much as possible and placing the music in the right place to fit the mood and emotion of the scene. It definitely takes time and focus, but I enjoy the challenge, and I feel it's worth it to tell such an amazing story. I would greatly appreciate if you could share the channel and videos with people you think may enjoy them and leave a comment. Comments help me out more than anything. Thank you for watching. And remember, nothing is true. Everything is permitted.